Today, we're going to talk about oh, things that matter. That's what I want to talk about. You know, life skills, mm -hmm. bill paying. How to, how to manage your finances properly. Oh, yes, finances, yes, yes, yes. Um, politics. As well as uh, uh, creating a, a well-rounded meal. Uh, oh, so yes, keep healthy yes. as a chores. Chore. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, regular maintenance to not only your car, but to yourself and your house. Personal hygiene. Oh. Important. Mm -hmm. Don't want that stench All happening. of these things are things that just need to be discussed on a regular basis, otherwise people forget. Um, and we're here to tell you. Yes. Alright, so, what's first? What's first? Okay, um, well first off what we're going to do is we're going to talk about <clears throat> something that really matters to us deeply. Um, as as uh, I'm sure you all know, we're both models. A um, few years now. Few, for a few years, definitely. And uh, just in the modeling world, one thing that people just never take into consideration is that you actually have to shave your whole back. Yes, you um, get long, coarse hairs every once in a yeah. while. They, they actually, I, you know, like an inch or so, they, they pop up randomly, but in always in the same mm -hmm. spots or areas, yep. like mm -hmm. the upper back, like below the neckline. Now, now, one thing that you never have to worry about, but usually only my photoshoppers have to worry about, is if I don't wipe properly. Oh, yeah. Because oh, I, I, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but I do the nude modeling. And, yeah, uh, I, I'm not, not so much, not so much. Because she's not allowed to. Yeah, uh, but um, my partner if does I don't not wipe, like yeah. to share in that in that aspect. If I don't wipe properly, then the Photoshop experts I mean, have to do a lot of work. You know, it's dry really gross. paper product or yep, yep. Mm -hmm. it's a common um, occurrence. You know, it's, it you know, it's something well, you just don't I've think edited, about. On your way I've to edited show. girls that do not maintain themselves down there. Uh -huh. They just get these. Ah, they look like this. Oh yes. You know, we, we don't talk about a lot is the, the drama yeah. in in the modeling scene. Oh, there was yeah. a lot, so much drama. It's it's similar to politics, you know. Things that uh, things that people like complain about or mm -hmm. are important to one person but not the other person. Uh, oh, get this one: the fight between did I Photoshop her too much or did I not Photoshop her enough? <laughs> That's always is she going to be insulted because argument. I did too much, or insulted because I didn't do enough? Or, or, or the liquefy button on the boobage area, the cleavage. You're just trying to go a little favor, a little, little you know, a little upgrade in cup size, you know? A lot cheaper with a click of a mouse button than it is to go see Dr. K Kevorkian? What's his name? Kevorkian killed people. No, he didn't, he didn't upside the breasts, right? No, he did not. Well, I bet you Kevorkian would upsize the breasts if he could. Oh yeah, I'm sure. He Just would because have it rhymes. Inflated it with like saline solution or something. Mm -hmm. Just that. Like a saline party, like a piercing party. My my partner, he he does piercing parties every once in a while, like oh, he yeah. used to. And uh, you know, just um, you know, he'd pierce people. You know, for a discounted rate if there were many of them. You know, like uh, you know, do two nipple piercings for price of one. Partner. When you say partner, it sounds like it's the same sex. Oh, like a life partner. <laughs> Gross. No, there's nothing wrong with that. So, let's see, next topic. Um, bills. Now, there's a lot of bills that go into our lives. Um, one thing you might not realize is that being a model is very expensive. Um, Absolutely. You have to buy clothing. Mm -hmm. Or um, costumes, wigs. Hairspray. Makeup. <laughs> Um, deodorant, deodorant, sporting. toothpaste, shoes, lots um, of shoes. You can never have too many shoes. Yeah, there are shoes. You know, <laughs> within a closet, you could also have a closet full of shoes. Oh uh, yeah, the little shoe caddies. Yeah. You know. Um, and you know, driving to and from um, <coughs> um shoots. Yeah. Hmm? Sometimes you're driving like three miles away. I bet and you can get that like stuff written on taxes. You know, like if you make yeah, keep track of it like a log. 
Mm -hmm. And that, that, that segues perfectly into our, our personal finance section of, of our episode <laughs> today, where um, we talk about the rest of our bills, like, uh, like uh, our cable bill, so that when we're home, we have something to masturbate Phone, to. Phone, internet, cable, <laughs> yes. Oh. Masturbation? Yeah. It's always a fun topic. Because <laughs> you're giggling in the background? You know what? They're probably outside of the door. They never, they're not allowed to watch our videos. Yeah. We don't, um, we don't, we like to have our privacy, you know, in case anything weird happens. Yeah. Yeah, like poopy time. They don't know, but we play with each other's poopies. You know, occasionally, occasionally. You know, I had a different shirt on, but my nipple kept slipping out before. So, I had to change, you know? Wardrobe malfunctions. Um, you know, I don't see how that has anything to do with bills, but wardrobe is an important, important part of being a model, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, like, if you show too much cleavage, you're a whore. Yeah. If you don't show enough, you're a prude. You, you have to get, like, an appropriate shoulder amount, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, too much, like, your slut and your elbow's hanging out. <laughs> Shit, weird. Get a zip down there or something. A scratch from some working out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So you don't want too much of that going on. And same with, like, belly. Like, if you've got too much belly, you're showing your nipples again. But then you're a whore. If uh, you yes. have not enough belly, then yeah. it just looks like you didn't wear the appropriately sized shirt. Absolutely. So you have to get, like, the perfect and, amount. And then there's pan height on the waistline. You can have... A, a oh, mid rise, yeah. a way too rise, low. way too high, high yeah. rise. Yes, this is important stuff. You know. Also, also, girls, you always forget about this. Belly button lint. Check the belly button. I don't know how many times we've had to say this in the past. Just get in there. Get in there. Just get in there and make sure it's out. You know. Sniff test. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be clean. Can you get your tongue in there? Get a tongue in there. If you can. You know. Some people are multi talented. I tried. <laughs> it just doesn't lie. What? You know. If you could, you would, though, right? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. There's lots of things I would do if I could. What are you doing over there? I'm just displaying. Oh. I have swimming like that. I think I got a secret trap door down there. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what this is. It's a trap door. It's one hell of a trap door. It. Yes. All right. What's happening? I like it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now. Next topic. Next topic. Vehicle maintenance. Um. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're going on a on a little trip to you know the the haunted mansion or the uh, the, or the like, sea or like lots of roadhead. You know. Listen, don't be vulgar. It's called a road date. Road date. Yeah. No class. <laughs> God. Anyway. Well, I've never had class. Okay, so you just gotta deal with things that people say sometimes, you know. But anyway, vehicle maintenance! Huh. Vehicle, so vehicle maintenance. maintenance. Um, like, I know, me personally, I just have my fiancé take care of it all. I just kind of like hand him keys and say, I hope it doesn't break. On the other hand, I went to automotive technical school mm -hmm. and um, I graduated like pretty high at top of my class. I forget like number 30 or something like that. There are lots of stars and stuff in my Of the women? No, no, the whole class. I was like wow. one of one or two women in my class. The other one was a lesbian. Well, yeah, she totally beat you though then, right? <sighs> Lesbians are so much. She never came to class. As is true with many lesbians. Anyway, anyway, so, uh, what do you actually have to do with cars? Well, there's oil changes. Uh, now, I never understood. Why do you change the oil in a car? I mean, don't it you want the oil? It wears out over time. No, it wears out over time. No, no. It's very important to keep a, a, you know, a regularly, like, you know, three to five months, uh, you can change your oil. Or every three to five thousand miles, you know, it depends on whether you use synthetic, uh, full synthetic, uh, you know, semi, uh, uh, a blend. blend. And now, how, how, what's the rubbers? The rubbers. What's the deal with rotating your rubbers? Okay, you have to ro rotate the rubbers. You know, they they, they wear like more one evenly. Use no, no, no. You can rubbers? use them over and over again. Okay. Never ever use a rubber once. Okay. You change. Yeah, recycle that. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's bad Absolutely. for the environment if you waste yeah. it. Yeah, and this, this, you can't even recycle it. Well, actually, nowadays they are uh, <laughs> rubber recyclers. You know, they uh, mm-hmm. they mix uses. You know, you can. Do they deal with all like the the, the, the fluids and chemicals in it well, too? Well, let me get to that. But they can change. They can change uh, the 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 material into different types of material. They can turn rubber into a balloon oh. set. You know, so children can play with the rubber after it's been used. Yes. yes. Oh, thank God. Makes it good. Blows my mind. So, blinker fluid. Oh, you know. that's one thing that always confused me. How often do you change your blinker fluid? Because my mechanic always has me change my blinker fluid every time I go. And no, it's like $60. It, it's, no, listen, you're getting a good, good deal on that. I've seen upwards of like $150 for like a blinker fluid change. You know? It's something you have to get really up and in under the carriage yeah. of the vehicle to change out a good blinker fluid, you know? Oh, okay, so it's a lot of man hours. Man hours, you know, and, and hard, lots of reaching hard, around, work. reaching around things, you know, because to get to it, it's just not easy. People don't understand. That's always good to know. Sixty dollars is a really good like, price. I always you see if you can find like a coupon. I don't know, you know, enough about it to take it there myself. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, so I feel like when I take it there, they're trying to take advantage of me, and they feel like I'm just being preyed on, mm-hmm. and it hurts. It's okay. It's okay.